What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. Look at this. Say hello to my home on the water for the next, well, 24 hours at the very least. We are going to be doing a little camping out of the new boat. We have all of our stuff in here. We've pretty much packed the entire house. We've got bait for days. We've got herring in there. We've got minnows in here. I've got a cooler full of, well, I've got drinks in there. We've got some food. I've packed the hole with pretty much everything I think we're gonna need. The boat is pretty much loaded up, ready to go for 24 hours of fishing out here on Lake Murray. I'm pretty excited, guys. This was the main reason that I bought this boat, and I'm gonna show you guys my setup here uh, as the day goes on and show you how we're gonna camp out of this, but I'm so excited. Before we get started, though, I have been told this marina, Big Man's Marina, uh, has some fantastic food. So finally, uh, I've had a lot of subscribers asking me, they're like, you gotta go get some food. We're gonna go in, get a little food before we get started, so let's see what they got. What, um, oh man, what, what do a lot of people usually get here? What's a hot item? Well, cheeseburger, you know that. Cheeseburger, okay. So, Let's do a big cheeseburger then. That yeah, looks delicious. You want, you want bacon in it? Oh, well, we better do bacon in it, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, bacon cheeseburger. Awesome, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, have a great day as well, thank you. All right, got our burger. Let's go take a look at this on the boat. Here is the big man's burger. Holy cow, it barely fits in that. Oh my heavens, I've had a lot of subscribers telling me to get after this burger right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow, they do not skimp. I can't even get my mouth around it. It's so big. This is a man's burger right here. Oh, uh, mm, all right. Burger consumed. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's get everything turned on here. Let's go do some fishing. Start our 24 hours out here on the boat. There we go. All right, lines up. Oh yeah. First push. Let's head on out. Oh, what a glorious day. Supposed to be like this today and tomorrow. Might get a little breezier today this afternoon. It just blows my mind still that this, this is middle of February. Middle of February in the south, 68 degrees. I'm not complaining. All right, guys, we are at our spot. Let me turn this a little bit. So what we have here is just a simple Carolina rig setup. Now I've got about probably three and a half, four feet between the sinker and the hook. And what we're just gonna do is we're gonna drop some live herring down. We have in our bucket here, let's find a, a willing participant. Oh, this is kind of a small one, I like this. Check this guy out. And I see a lot of other boats doing like the planer board thing. I don't have that. I haven't done that before. I would like to try. Just haven't gotten there yet. But we're going to just do this anyway. Our own way. There we go. Look at that. Got a little herring on. Hooked through the nose. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this one down. Uh, maybe about to the 12 foot mark. Maybe a little deeper than that. And we're just gonna drop him right in here. Got the trolling motor on. And we're just gonna slowly drift these little herring around and see if we can't get anything. There's one rod. Let's get the second rod set up here. Oh, here, this is what I'm looking at. Check this out. See that right there? There's a bunch of bait fish. Now there are some fish right in there moving along. So we gotta keep an eye on that rod tip because uh, I guarantee you, when something hits that, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. So you can see, see some of the streaks right there? Like there's a big ball of bait. And it looks like, I'll bet you there's a fish there at about 15, 16 feet right there. Looks like there's something screaming through there a little bit. So we're going to actually turn the juice down just a little bit on the trolling motor because we do have a breeze helping us. 
but we're gonna keep an eye on that rod. Let's get another one here. Let's do a little bit bigger one. Oh, well, okay. Well, they both want to jump on the hook, it appears. Kind of doubt that. Herring this time of year is so much easier to keep alive because it's cooler out. And the heat of that summer hits, check that out, right through the nose. The heat of that summer hits, man, it is just difficult. You look at them the wrong way and they're like, oh, I'm dead. See, like that, he's already like curling to the side. You gonna stay alive for me there, buddy? Oh yeah, okay, he's starting to swim around. All right, drop it down. There's seven, 14. All right, two rods set. Now, guys, we just kind of sit back and we wait. Keep an eye on the graph, keep an eye on both rods. They're gonna bounce around a little bit. That one's bouncing a little bit just because, uh, you know, it's, it's a decent sized herring. So he's gonna, gonna tug a little bit, but any good pop is gonna be a bite. But got the boat right next to me. They got a bunch of planer boards out. Looks like they got about five or six. So, I mean, between the two of us, we've, <laughs> we've pretty much got this whole section of the river or the lake, I should say, covered. I guess this is technically a river. There's a bite, there's one right there. Look at that, check that out. Got one. Oh, he just, he, oh man. Oh man, are you kidding me? That was a good hit. That was a good hit. We've been at it for about 15 minutes. That's a good sign, dang it. I'm gonna check the bait. That was, he popped it. Feels pretty, no, he's still on there. He's still swimming, all right. Drop him back down. Woo. Dead gum, that's a good sign. Whew, boy, that'll get your heart pumping. Of course, when you sit here drinking a Red Bull too, that helps, that helps. Oh, there it is, look at that take. Look at that take right there. Got him, sweet, got him. Gotta set this on lock. There he is, finally. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, <laughs> Finally got one. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. On the airing. Oh, man, it's about time. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be 21 inches to keep. There he is. Boom. <laughs> All right. Finally. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm gonna say he's probably not gonna be quite big enough to keep. It looks like he's probably about 19 or 20 inches, would be my guess. Uh, there we go there we go look at that we'll put it up against this yeah this is 17 inches long they gotta be 21 oh stop it that's that's probably about 18 inches would be my guess about an 18 incher still a pretty pretty fish look at that first striper trolling that live herring boom that is pretty that is real pretty. Go ahead and drop her back in. Oh man, hoping for a keeper, but that's okay. Still a good fight. Still a good fight, that's awesome. Let's get another piece on and get it back down there. Oh, I just tore him up, he gone. All right guys, so it's starting to get later in the afternoon. It's like three o'clock, something like that. We've been here for about three hours actually out here fishing with, I mean, not a terrible amount of success. So I passed a boat after I caught my one fish and uh, just kind of figured it was kind of a slow day. I asked them how they were doing and they said they'd caught 15. And the guy said, they're really hitting the shiners right now. Um, so I took a quick break, ran up to the, uh, to the bait shop there, to Big Man's, and I got myself a dozen shiners here. I'll show you guys what those look like. And we're gonna, Try using some shiners. I just kind of figured maybe it was a slow day. We had a cold front here a couple of days ago. Um, but when the guy said he caught 15, I was like, well, okay then. So <laughs> I'm not a smart man, but I do know that if people are smacking fish on a certain bait, it's usually a pretty good idea to go ahead and switch to that bait. So we've got some shiners here. We're gonna drop those down and see, see if anything changes for us, hopefully. All right, so here are the shiners. I didn't ask them what size they were catching them on. I just grabbed larges. All right, so there, I've hooked it through the nostril. There's a shiner right there, much more hardy, a little bit smaller, and maybe that's just the key, you know? And I don't know, you know, this time of year, maybe they just feed on something a little bit different um, than the herring. I, I have no idea, but we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully this breeze starts to calm down a bit, and hopefully we'll start poking a few more fish here. I'd like at least a keeper striper. 
and I'm happy we caught something, but man, 15, that boat said that 15? Good grief. That's definitely uh, what you'd call being outfished, that's for sure. Oh, that looks like a bite. Oh yeah, there's a bite right there. There he is, there he is, he's on, he's on, he's on. Got him. On the shad, guys. Oh, or I'm sorry, on the shiner, on the shiner. Feels like a solid fish. One hit, and now another fish, come on. Got to anchor us up right here. Feels like, oh no, 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 not by the trolling motor. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, there's a good fish. There's a good fish, except it's on the wrong side. I need, I need my net, so we gotta go under here. Come on, come on. Oh, this one's gonna be another close one. Be close, man. Switch the shiner, one hit, boom, one fish, all within like 10 minutes. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh, that's gonna be close. That's gonna be real close, to whether or not that's 21. Those shiners, man, boom. Immediate difference. Immediate, immediate difference. Look at that. Oh, we gotta measure it up. There to right there. I need a bigger measuring board. Yeah, that's a 20 incher, dang it. 20 inches. They're getting bigger though. They're getting bigger, pretty fish. Pretty fish just hammered that shiner. Absolutely destroyed it. Ah, oh, man, one inch away from being a keeper. One inch away, go on you. It's a good sign though. It's a good sign, one bite, one fish in like 10 minutes on the shiners. There we go. Holy cow, we are marking some fish down there. Come on. Marking is all fine and good. I want to be getting thumped though. That's what we want. Mark fish all day long. Oh, there's, there's see, there he is, there he is, there he is. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, come on. Yeah. Got him. Yes. There we go. Let me anchor up on the troll motor. Man. Feels like a solid fish. Shiner again. Come on. Oh no, he just broke it. Oh, you son of a go! I don't know if it was big enough. I honestly don't. But, oh my gosh. Oh man, are you kidding me? The shiner again. The hook just snapped off. Hook just, just popped right off. Oh man, oh, that's, oh, that hurts. Man, these shiners though, seriously. Glad I took a time out and went and got some. There we go. Just like that, pretty simple setup. Simple yet effective. Oh, there's one, right here, right here, right here. Got him, got him, yes. Ooh, oh, look at that. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, we just missed that one. I was drifting back over because I thought, you know what, if there's a school down there, I want to get in on it. And sure enough, as we were drifting back, Nailed this fish. Now, where's my net? Here, come on. Come on, let's not let this one get off. She's right at the surface. Come on. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. This might be our keeper right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yes. All right. Look at that. Oh, I guarantee you that's a keeper right there. Oh, yeah. Good grief, guys. It is amazing. Switched up the bait to Shiner. And we are just getting lit up right now. Absolutely lit up. Oh, I'm almost guarantee you that's a keeper right there. Look at that fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To there, oh yeah. It's like 21 and a half. Nice. 21 and a half on the shiner. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we're gonna have some fish tonight. Let's get them on a stringer. Here we go, look at that stringered up. I'm gonna just drop them right back here. I'm not gonna give them too much slack. I want them close to kind of the, the boat. Don't want them to go down there and tell all the other fish what's going on up here. Oh, we gotta get some steaks off of that one right there. In the meantime though, let's get this back out. We're on a bite right now. We're on a bite. Let's keep it going. Just the, the slightest of change. We've gone from, from fishing at five miles an hour to just about a hundred miles an hour right now. I mean, if I'd have been using these, the past three hours this afternoon since I gotten here, 
my guess is we'd have probably had about five or six more fish at least at the rate we're going all right both rods back out let's keep trolling take it off anchor fire it up There's a, see, there he is, there he is. Look at that, look at that. Look at that take. Look at that take. Good grief. Holy cow. Again, we just got done pulling in our keeper. Another one. Oh my word. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This one's not a keeper, but just another, another good fish. Another good fish. Oh yeah. Oh my word. Look at that pig. Man, these things are fat this time of year. Oh my word, yeah. I'll bet that's probably 19, 20, something like that. Let's see if I can measure it out. Will it go past the 17 inch mark? Hey, stop biting me. Stop biting me, come on. Oh yeah, that's probably like 18 and a half. That'd be my guess. Man, look at that. Woo! Oh my word, this is action. Good grief, that's three now. Three in like the last 40 minutes. Beautiful fish, fantastic fight. Get on out of here. Oh my word, this is what I'm talking about. Boom, let's get it back out there. Here we go, back at it. All right, back down there. Hoo -hoo. All right, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Keep the trolling. Come on. This bike, right here. Look at that. Check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, she's running under the boat already. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. That was a fast take. That was a fast take. She just, just murdered it. Just murdered it. Come on. It's like a solid fish. Oh, man, another nice one. Another nice one. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, word. Oh, guys, check that out right there. Another, another nice striper. I don't know if this would be a keeper or not, but just absolutely murdered that shiner. Just loving themselves some shiner right now. Oh my word, I'm gonna drop her back in the water, keep fishing. Let's see if we get a piggy. There you go. Nice. Woo! They're in here. They've been in here all day. Might be a combination of it's starting to get evening time. So it, may, it might be feeding time. And obviously switching up the bait. They just absolutely massive difference. There you go. That's it right there. A little shiner. Got about probably a two foot offset Carolina rig. Popping them in about 14 feet of water. So right behind me, I have uh, this channel and it drops down about 36 feet. Well, I'm staying right on kind of the outside of the channel. Staying in about 22, 23 feet of water. And that seems to be where I'm like, I'm locating a lot of the bait balls. And usually where that bait is, that's where the striper are gonna be. And I just haven't seen a lot in the channel when I was cruising around today but they definitely seem to be like holding up right on the outside of it. The... There it is, there it is. Oh. oh, dang it. Man. Coming back for it? I can't believe he didn't hook up. We might have to check the bait. The bait on that. Oh, that bait's gone. Look at that, bait's gone. Dang it. Oh, he's running towards the boat. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Yes. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, holy cow. Holy cow. Good grief. That's what I'm talking about. It's on the other side of the boat. Guys, check it out. He just took a whole run around the entire boat. Good grief.
<laughs> oh guys, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. I'm gonna try to bring him around around this way. Try to bring him around this way. Come on. She's taking a total run. Complete run around the boat. Come on. Try to show you guys when I bring her in here. Feels pretty solid. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this be a keeper, I'm thinking. This be a keeper, I'm thinking. Come here. Oh, look at this fish. Look at this fish. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh my word. Oh, this is a toad. This is a toad. <laughs> Sun is setting literally. Like there's there's maybe maybe 10 more minutes before the sun goes down. And look at that fish right there. Look at that pig. There's a piggy right there. Oh my word. Oh, what a way. I think that's how we're going to end the day right there. We're going to get camp set up. Let's weigh that up. See how big she is. You know, just for the sake of good karma, as a guy from New Jersey told me once, we might go ahead and let that one go because we already have plenty to eat for this evening. 5.84, 5.84 pounds. Oh, beautiful sunset, beautiful fish, biggest one to end the day right there. Day number one, camping out here on the water. Gonna be good there, Lady O. Get you revived here a little bit. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. There she goes. Down to the depths. All right, before we get camp set up, we're gonna go ahead and fillet up our striper. We've bled him out, so he gone. Oh man, we're gonna have enough off of this guy for steaks for tonight. We'll probably be able to bring some home. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just a steak. That's just a steak, actually. I want them this way to cut the ribs out. Now I forgot, what you want to do is cut a little bit up off the skin because you see that bloodline right there? You can get rid of a lot of that, so I forgot to do that. So what we're going to kind of have to do is make kind of a V cut along that to try to pull that red out, that bloodline out. There we go. Get rid of that and you're just left with a nice hearty steak. There you go. That's just one side too. Go ahead and get the other side cleaned up. All right guys, so here's kind of the plan. We have our fish clean, and what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be setting a tent up right in this boat. I'm just kind of moving everything right now to the front, kind of trying to distribute the weight how I want it, and uh, we'll get this tent set up. Let me show you guys how we're gonna do this here. Let's get this out. We've got our power station with us. Next. We will shimmy the bedding out. In about a month, when it starts hitting like 50 at night and stuff, I'm not gonna need all this bedding. So I'm just gonna need like a blanket, really. All right, time to set up the tent. I probably should have done this a little sooner than like right now, because it's getting dark. Probably should have set this up about 45 minutes ago. But man, we were having so much fun with the striper fishing. I couldn't help. People from shore have to be like, what in the world is going on? What kind of shenanigans, misdeeds, what kind of dubiousness is going on out there? Not a lot of people camping out here in February. Dare I say we are probably the only ones. Uh, I'm pretty confident in that statement. Okay, this is the first time I've ever done this too. So I uh, like, obviously, it, it, I don't know how this is gonna go. Like, I can't get out and like walk around the boat to like get everything set up. We are gonna have to do all this from the boat. And we're all gonna experience it together right now, whether or not this is gonna work or not. You guys ready to see this? Check this out. Welcome to the master chambers. In fact, actually, let me stand up. Check it out. Okay, so I've got lights on either side of the tent. I've got a light inside the tent. We've got our little uh, nav light eee, boink, right there. We are officially tent camping, boat tent camping, I should say. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Come inside. We got a lantern swinging from the ceiling. I have to get my air mattress all set up. I'll show you guys the complete setup here in just a minute, but 
got all my bedding in here i mean like i'm this thing stands like five and a half feet tall so like i'm standing up in here there's the bow of the boat so check it out we just walk out here throw a couple of fishing rods out the front we're going to cook up some supper on the bow <laughs> this this i'm not gonna lie I had the plan in my mind. I s envisioned how it was gonna go, and so far it's not disappointing. Sometimes my own genius scares me. Look at this. Let's get the bedding set up. Let me show you guys the final setup here. Let me get all this put together how I want it. Got stuff for the blow up mattress here. Our little portable power station right here. Oh wait, I am being remiss. Shoes off before you go in the house. <laughs> we have our little sheet here for the air mattress because an air mattress is quite chilly by itself. So I bring along a fancy little sheet because guys, we're just classy like that here at High Adventure Videos. If you're gonna camp, you may as well camp in comfort. That's what I've always said. And then we have the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag's so old. It doesn't strap well anymore. It doesn't zip up. But it don't matter. And I brought overkill. One extra blanket. Go Raiders. Just in case I wasn't going to be warm enough. <laughs> Look what I brought. This is a Mr. Buddy portable propane heater. Zoink! This thing's going to be sweet in the tent. This tent, I'm thinking, is getting ready to get like 75 degrees in here. <laughs> now, when I use one of these, I also get this little guy right here as well. This is a CO2 detector. The portable uh, Mr. Buddy heater will kick off automatically if there's not enough oxygen circulating through it. However, as a backup plan, because I don't want to go to sleep and wake up at the pearly gates, I'm going to just set this somewhere kind of like head level, like right about there, right on the side of the tent. So I packed everything in this carton, right? So we flip the carton upside down. Set them right over here in the corner and we set our propane heater on top of them just like that. Look at this. So we got the heater hanging out there right in the corner. Lantern's kind of flailing all around. I need to see if I can secure that better. We got ah, the bed. Ah, chilling out in the bottom of the boat. This is why I bought this type of boat right here. I needed a specific type of boat to be able to try to execute this plan right here. And here we are, executing it to perfection. <sighs> I don't know, pretty close, I would say. Uh, this is us, High Adventure Videos, boat tent camping, making history. I can literally pick anywhere I want to camp, as long as there's water. There doesn't even have to be water. I can go beach this sucker up on the sand, on an island, um, and we can just camp right out of the tent. Or right out of the boat. The boat tent. Both. Okay, enough about this. Let's go get some supper going on the bow of the boat. <laughs> Start with a little oil here. The old cast iron. Now to celebrate our first ever boat tent camping and hopefully many more to come, I got me a little steak. Let's see. Aha. I got a little steak rub. Kroger brand. This, if you guys haven't ever tried this, is actually really good. Ooh, look at that. Kind of rub it into the meat. Well, that's feeling nice and warm. I've never actually cooked steak in cast iron before. I know I have the grill right there, but I thought, eh, let's do something different. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up an onion. A little steak and onions here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit our onions with a little of that steak seasoning as well. Give a little extra kick. I think that's about done. I like my steak about medium. We'll see if I cooked it medium or not. How do we do here? How do we do? I see some pink in there. Oh no, there's some good pink in there. That's perfect. That is perfect. Onions should still have a good crunch to them. <laughs> oh, what a first meal. All right, here we go. Want some onion, want some steak. Fresh cooked. First meal, tent camping on the boat. 
Oh, the onions got a good crunch. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I've had this plan, I've had this idea, I should say, for months. I think dating back to like October of last year. I've wanted to execute it so bad, and now we have. Here we've done it. We've come a long way from buying the boat to putting all the stuff we want on it to get it to this point where we can go out and fish. Getting the right kind of boat, and now like having this whole setup out here. What I am going to do in the next video um, is I will set up in the daytime like when there's more light out so you guys can kind of watch all of this come together so it's not just like a bring it's all set up all right we've polished off the steak now we've got some extra onions also have some peppers here to throw in time for a little fish i have a little goya adobo lemon pepper seasoning oh my goodness there's a little bit in the lid there go ahead and sprinkle some of this over the vegetables All right, a little fresh striper. I'll kind of cut it up into chunks. I think this is a chunk right here. Yeah. I'm just gonna lay that right over the top, just like that. And not even give a care. Nice strip of striper. Oh my, <laughs> that's called wordplay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm somewhat of a wordsmith. And of course, we're gonna hit this with a little Goya adobo. Front and back. Oh yeah, oh wait, check this out. Look at this, look at this. Let me adjust my camera here. Check that out. Look, little Mr. Buddy heater going on. Now I will say, most of the heat's going up, but it is starting to circulate down. Like there is a big difference. Like, I don't know, probably about a 15 degree difference would be my guess between the inside of the tent and outside here. I mean, you can see my breath out there. Can't see my breath in here. So, I mean, it's above freezing. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I think that does it right there. There you go. There's the second course right there. Set that off to the side. Tuck in in just a minute. Oh man, look at that right there. Holy cow. Steaming and everything. Oh, that striper's so thick. It's like a fish steak. I mean, it's just a big old fish. That lemon pepper is solid. And I'm picking up some of the hints of the steak seasoning that we cooked in the pan previously. The second course is turning out to be bomb right here. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty confident in the 220 pound anchors I have out, um, but I've never done this before. So I'm just playing it extra safe tonight. And uh, I've kind of hidden myself behind this point here, a little bit shallower water. That way we don't uh, find ourselves adrift in the morning. <laughs> right. For dessert. You guys already know what's for dessert. Oh, look at that. Hot cocoa for the win. And it's got to be Swiss Miss. No other brand will do. Then to finish it off, you add... I prefer whole milk. All they had was 2% at the store, so I just rolled with 2%. Adds that creaminess that you're looking for. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, perfect. We have our high adventure mug. Ooh, to the tippy top, and we've got a little extra. Like the shakes at Red Robin. They give you that little extra extra in the... Tin. Oh my word. This is what I'm talking about right here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna put my feet up next to the heater. Oh, I tell you what, we really turned the day around. We, uh, we went from fighting the wind, basically just battling a bunch of bites to switching that bait up. And that bait switch today, that was incredible. Just the difference that that made so the mr buddy heater i actually have it on low right now um and on low on one thing of propane it'll run for six hours um i probably don't plan on having it on all night it's i mean it's cold out but between i mean i'm gonna probably keep clothes on right and then i've got my blanket i've got my sleeping bag i'll, I'll i should be probably pretty warm if not though just whip the heater on. Mm. Guys, come in here with me. Oh. Oh. This is awesome. 
There's the view of the bow. I'm gonna keep the catfish lines out. They have bells on them, so I mean, you know, if anything starts to get to go, and I got the drags loose, I got bells on them. So, I mean, I literally, I just pop right out of my front door. Just unzip this, and it can be fish on, like at two o'clock in the morning, or six o'clock in the morning. So, anyway. Well guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. We'll figure out what we wanna do in the morning, see what time we wake up. I'm gonna finish my hot mm, cocoa, and I will see you guys in the morning. First night on the boat. Good morning, fam. We had our heater on pretty much all night. It was pretty cold. In fact, it's 37 degrees right now. <laughs> no bites on the catfishing rods that I know of anyway. Oh, oh, what a beautiful morning. Gorgeous sun's getting ready to come up here probably in the next 10, 15 minutes. Oh, mist on the water. I'm seeing a ton of little bait fish bippity booping on the surface. Guess we should go ahead and get all our winter stuff on. Get out and cook some breakfast. Go chase some fish for a little bit. Time for a little fresh, hot McCafe in the morning. That's a good, good way to start the day. Uh. Well guys, we've had breakfast. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and tear all this down. And uh, I wanna go do a little crappy fishing this morning. I think I found a new crappy spot. Go do a little more fishing before we call it a trip. All right, guys. It took me exactly 20 minutes to put everything back uh, the way I had it. So we have gone from camping to now we're mobile. So let's go ahead and fire up the engine, go to our next fishing spot. Make sure we're in neutral. There she goes. Here we go. Oh man, what a beautiful day again. We've got our suite running down the lake. Goggles on. Keeps the bugs out of your face. Keeps your face warm. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Day two. All right. So I found this spot a few weeks back. And I was like, man, this looks really good. I actually was looking on my map. And I saw there was like some cliffs here and I came over here to try to check them out and there were two boats here crappy fishing. And so I thought, ooh, okay, this must be a pretty decent spot. So we are back now. Nobody's here this morning, which may not be a good thing, but <laughs> we'll find out. There's a bite. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, I see him down there. There he is. Come on, bite it. Little nibble. There's a bite. Come on. Oh, shoot. Missed him. There he is. Got him. Loaded on. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a war mouth. What? <laughs> Check that out, guys. A little war mouth. A little chunky thing. These things are just little porkers. It's a pretty fish, but not what we're after. Get out of here. All right, guys. We have had no luck so far this morning, minus that one war mouth at the docks. I'm pretty slow actually, so I figured, you know, we're gonna come over and try 
the tried and true here at the bridges and see if uh see if we can't get something here big man's I'd like to end the day with a nice crappy there's a bite come on got him got him it's a good fish right here this is good either oh yeah that's, there you go there you go that's a nice crappy yeah oh whoa, whoa, whoa. where am i going with them where am i going with them there we go there we go on the bottom jig that's probably a nice little 10 10 and a half incher boom nice little fish there nice little fish we're gonna throw him on ice actually is what we're gonna do well guys we got our crappy so we have officially caught a variety on this trip i think that's gonna do it for me though for this trip the wind is starting to pick up again and i'm just kind of done i'm done with this wind thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on the first ever catch cook camp on the boat I've got a feeling there are gonna be a lot more of these to come. That was pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.